You will need two feet of two inch PVC pipe, schedule 40, three to two inch T, two feet of three inch diameter, PVC primer and cement, a ruler, Sharpie, a three quarter inch ball valve, two three quarter inch iron or steel nipples, a 3 inch diameter end cap, we'll need two, a set of files, Teflon tape, a wrench, two 2 inch to 1.5 inch reducing bushing, two 1.5 to 3 quarter inch threaded reducing bushings an old tire valve. We're going to cut the PVC pipe into two 9 inch segments so there will be some leftover. These are going to serve as our air reservoir. Next we're going to cut the valve off the old bike tire. This is how we're going to uh, fill up the reservoir with just a simple bike pump. Match up the size of the drill bit as best you can with the size of the valve. It may take a few tries to find the correct size, but you want it to be as snug as possible. You're going to need a small section of 2 inch diameter PVC pipe to fit into the reducing bushing. Measure that out so that you can cut it with a saw. It helps to use something that bends in order to make your lines straight. Next we use our set of files to file down any burrs or rough edges on the PVC so that it will sit flush once we prime and cement it into place. Alright, now we're going to cement our valve into place on the cap. First, you must use the purple PVC primer and cover it liberally with the orange PVC cement. Now we're going to do the same thing with the 3 inch diameter pipe. We're going to file it down to make sure there are no rough edges. When we're done filing, we want to make sure to wipe down the PVC of any debris that may be on it. Next, we'll apply our PVC primer. You want to make sure that all areas that will be in contact with another piece of PVC are completely coated. Once the primer is on both pieces, you'll take the orange PVC cement and apply it liberally to both pieces that will be connected. Press to firmly together and let rest for 24 hours once they've been cemented together. Next, we're going to take the Teflon tape and wrap it around the threaded sections of the iron 3 quarter inch diameter nipple. We do this in order to prevent the threads from easily coming undone once they're inside the 3 quarter inch ball valve. You may find it easier to tighten the threads as tight as possible if you use a wrench to help you. Now we take the one and a half to three quarter inch threaded reducing vary and thread it to the nipple that is connected to the three quarter inch diameter ball valve. We then repeat this process on the other side. Once we've got them as tight as possible, we'll take the two inch to one and a half inch reducing bushings and clean them and prepare the, to cement them to the one and a half to three quarter inch reducing bushings. Cementing the two pieces together is the same as the process we used earlier. Apply the primer first and then a liberal amount of the cement. Once we've completed both sides, we will now clean off the other side of the reservoirs and prepare them to be cemented onto the T.
We will also prepare the two inch piece that we cut off that will be connected into the T and the two inch to one and a half inch reducing bushing. Here we're priming and cementing the reducing bushing to the two inch piece of PVC. And then we move on to the priming and cementing the three inch diameter reservoir to the three inch ends of the T. We want to make sure that the reservoir and the T are as connected as strongly as possible since they will be holding back all of the air that we put in there. Next we will prime and cement the ball valve component to the 2 inch piece of PVC that comes out from the T. Once we've completed that, we'll take the barrel and prepare it to be cemented to the other end of the ball valve component. And that's how you build a pneumatic potato cannon. Make sure you let the cement rest for 24 hours before you test fire the potato cannon. You may need to cut your potatoes so that it fits easily into the barrel. You want it to fill up most of the diameter, but to slide in easily when pushed with a stick. 